to the stage, man. Very funny guy. I love to watch him as well. Y'all give it up for Mr. Tadpole Triplet. Y'all give it up for Joel and the Improv one time. Everybody in the back, I appreciate you. Why did Lizzo cross the road? <laughs> to get to her other thigh. How oh. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like both Shirley and Mabel. What's that? You know, she got a little bit of run in her too, don't she? Neener, 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 neener. <laughs> like Lizzo, more like Lizzo. Oh no. <laughs> Do a master with the big laugh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, let's roll. Lizzo pretends to care about the environment, yet she occupies most of it. <laughs> she projects about climate crisis, but she flies private on a cargo plane. <laughs> the boat for livestock, so it checks out. She's a heifer. Lizzo says she don't make her music for white people. Even though that's 72% of her purchasing all <laughs> Not a real thing to that one, is it? <laughs> Tell the truth, I didn't even know who she was until she went up there on that award show. Y'all see her? You see, she flew in on a private jet that scurried her off in a limousine. A whole team of makeup artists airbrushed her. <laughs> they rolled her up in a bedazzled circus tent and waddled her out there on stage <laughs> to talk about being oppressed. Million dollar flat talking about being oppressed. I think she meant compressed. I think that's her warning. <laughs> Crying out for help. We want to talk about privilege. The greatest point of privilege in our species history, January 2020, simply being an American. And we've done nothing but kick our own backseat ever since. We're at 200,000 years as a species, if you trust the scientists, right? 96% <laughs> of scientists said whatever the fucking money told them to say. <laughs> you know, I'm on the baby Jesus stick, but let's go with the scientists for a minute. We're at 200,000 years as a species. 10,000 years as a civilized being. And aside from a couple of minutes during Roman times, America's the only place created for the most different type of motherfuckers to be high. You know, two and a half kids, a white picket fence, some medium money. Let me give a hit of that medium money. <laughs> you know, our entire species have and have nots. <laughs> American privilege, that's what y'all got. <laughs> the second greatest point of privilege in our species history is being obese. <laughs> More than half of Americans are obese. One in seven kids around the world will starve to death. And you have the audacity to eat for five? <laughs> you can single-handedly end world hunger if you can single-handedly share your snacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 one in seven kids around the world will starve to death. And we're slapping people with tortillas. <laughs> Just fucking spitting out perfectly good drinking water. <laughs> you want to talk about privilege? The third greatest point of privilege in our species history is Colin fucking Kaepernick. <laughs> that pussy had three white parents. <laughs> that is too many. <laughs> right? His black daddy didn't want him. White mama gave his ass up. Two very wealthy white folk came along and picked him up off the waiver wire. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was a free agent. <laughs> didn't nobody want him. That's a recurring theme in his life, isn't it? <laughs> You're more likely to win a football game with Tim Tebow as your quarterback. Statistically speaking, of course. 
anything of that fucking mattered anymore. <laughs> Winning the fucking game was not good. Fucking Geno Smith is a starting quarterback in the NFL, in case you were wondering just how bad Colin fucking Kaepernick was. <laughs> the fourth greatest point of privilege in our species history. I forgot it. <laughs> the fourth greatest point of privilege in our species history is 92% of all UFO sightings around the world have occurred in America. So much fucking privilege, we're just making shit up. <laughs> I was broke by an alien. No, kid, that was your Boy Scout leader. <laughs> the fifth greatest point of privilege in our species history is identifying as a rhinoceros. <laughs> identifying as a rhinoceros. Bitch, I do not see a sword coming out of your forehead. <laughs> Therefore, I understand you are built like a hippopotamus. <laughs> However, the two are different. <laughs> Y'all notice ever since they shut down insane asylums, people have been wilding out. <laughs> right, they were offensive, so now we got people marrying a car, <laughs> marrying a tree. I got this one bitch married a fence post. I can't make it up. Listen, on my worst day, I'm the 11th best writer on planet Earth, and I am not that good of a writer. <laughs> Let's think it out together, right? This bitch was fucking a fence post. That shit felt good in the bitch. <laughs> She's like, I love that fence post. I'm going to marry it. And the U.S. government was like, cool, just cut us a check. <laughs> we'll take that money. I don't want to talk about privilege. I appreciate y'all. Sorry, Drew, by the way.